Lions. Today is Friday, November 16th. You're watching Liberty Live. I'm Shana Yarrick. And I'm Emma Canis. And let's see what's trending in the news today. Today's big news story is that Beyonce brought out Ivy Park. That's really interesting. I know. I would like to check that out sometime. Yeah, maybe we'll see Beyonce. And now for today's science fact of the day. The seeds of an Indian lotus tree remain viable for 300 to 400 years. There will be a meeting Tuesday, November 20th, right after school in room B-121 until 2.15 for any freshman interested in running for the freshman class office. Jackson Liberty embraces diversity. We are truly a family who welcomes people of all different beliefs and cultures. As a part of that tradition, we are going to welcome one of our foreign exchange students to come on the show and talk a little bit about where she is from and to talk about her experience here at Jackson Liberty. Let's give the show over to Jamima. Welcome. Hi Liberty Lions, my name is Jemima and I am an exchange student from India. I was picked among hundreds of applicants from India to travel to America to experience and learn a different culture. I am studying as a junior here at Jackson Liberty High School. It took me over a week to travel from India with one other student placed in New Jersey. It's a very different for me because I have never experienced cold weather or snow before. New Jersey is a very amazing place for me because there are many different cultures and experience here. India is known for its culture and tradition. People in India value culture and custom from ancient days. The vital components of in our culture are good manners, rituals, beliefs and values, etc. Even though our lives are modernized, we still don't change our culture and tradition. India has many religions and language and we are identified by our social class. Every religion has its, its own custom, but we still unite by our diversity. Every Indian follows the saying, unity, unity in diversity, as we respect and love each other. We hail our country and our culture. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to be a Liberty Lion. Thank you. Jai Hind. I've seen her in the halls. She seems like a wonderful person. I'm so glad we got to learn a little bit about her. Yeah, I haven't seen her yet, but I can't wait to meet her. Yeah. The girls' basketball team will be having tryouts on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, November 19th through the 21st. On November 19th, tryouts will be from 2.15 to 4.30. Please be dressed and ready to go at 2.15. All athletes will meet in the girls' locker room. If you have any questions, please see Coach Zavona, Coach Flanagan, or Coach Simico. We hope to see you there. Attention all 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. Picture Day retakes will be on Thursday, November 29th in the IMC. This is also for faculty and staff who miss Picture Day. Any questions, please see Ms. Forsyth in D109. If you are newly inducted into the SNHS, you should have joined the Remind. If you did not, please do ASAP, or your advisors will have been trying to reach you about meetings and the upcoming SNHS ceremony. Anyone interested in managing the girls' basketball team this year, please see Ms. Savona in room B209 or the girls' locker room for information. The Atlib players will be presenting the holiday classic, Scrooge and Marley, this weekend. The show opens tonight at 7 p.m. and also has two shows on Saturday. See Ms. Mathias for tickets. Boys' basketball tryouts for all levels will take place Monday 19th, November 19th through Wednesday, November 21st. All of those interested in trying out must have their health physical paperwork handed in to the nurse and meet all eligible criteria in order to participate on November 19th. Meet at 2.15 in the lecture hall. For more information on times, see the flyer posted in the boys' locker room or Coach Rankin and Coach Chesley. Attention juniors, if you, have, are, if you are interested in the SAT prep class, please stop the, by the guidance office as soon as possible to pick up the form. Seating is limited, so it is first come, first serve. The cost is $30. See your guidance counselor for any questions. And the SAT word of the day is denigrate. Charge falsely or with malicious intent. And now let's check in with today's weather. Today will be cloudy with wind and rain with a high of 46 and a low of 31. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 47 and a low of 28. Sunday will be partly sunny with a high of 46 and a low of 38. Sounds rather cold. And now it's this time for this day in history. On this day in 1867, the first stock ticker is unveiled in New York City. The advent of the tickler ultimately revolutionized the stock market by making up to the minute prices available to investors around the country. And that's and all we have for today. Have a great weekend, Liberty.